Okay, for okay for question one, the Earth has a surface area of approximately five hundred and ten million one hundred thousand kilometers square. Write write this surface area in standard form. So it's five point one o one multiplied ten to the power of something. So we put a decimal here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Times ten to the power of eight. Question 1A2. Water covers 70.8% of the Earth's surface. Work out the area of the sur Earth's surface covered by water. So it's 5.101 multiplied 10 to the power of 8 times 0 0.7, which is 5.101 multiplied 10 to the power of 10 to the power of 8. Uh -oh. 5.101. Multiply 10 to the power of 8 times 0 0.7 or 8, 0 0.7 or 8, which is 3, 6, 1, 1, 5, 4, 8, or 0, 0, which in standard form is Point six one one five or eight times ten to the power of eight. Question B find the B1 find the total surface area of green eye and the multi eaves meaning the total. So 5.77 times 10 to the power of 3 plus multi eaves 3 times 10 squared, which is. Question B to find the value of N. So Maldives over China, which is 3 times 10 squared over China, 9.6 times 10 to the power of 6, which is 3 times 10 squared divided by 9.6. So the answer it will be wait. The answer is one divided by this ratio, which will get which will give us three two o o o thirty two thousand. Three find the surface area of France as a percentage of the surface area of China. <coughs> so France is six point four one times 10 to the power of 5 divided by China's surface area which was 9.6 times 10 to the power of 6 multiply that by 100 because it's percentage So the answer is 6.3.40% 6.40 Wait, 6.41% Divided by 9.6 and 10 to the power of 6 Oh wait, no it's 
6.68. Find the population density of the Maldives, which is people over population of the surface area. So Maldives, 374600 divided by 3 times 10 squared is... One two four one two five zero zero rounded to the nearest three digits. Uh yeah, three significant figures over here. Okay, for question C, the population of the earth in twenty seventeen was estimated to be seven point five three times ten to the power nine. The population of the Earth in 20,000 was estimated to be 6.02 times 10 to the power of 9. Work out the percentage increase in the Earth's estimated population from, 20, from 2000 to 2017. So it would be 7.53 times 10 to the power of 9 minus 6.02 times 10 to the power of 9 over 7.53 times 10 to the power of 9. And the top part, we can basically factorize the 10 to the power of 9. Seven point five three 6.02. Then we can cancel this and this. That would give us, oh wait, multiply 100. That would give us, C2. Assume that the population of Earth increased exponentially exponentially by y percent each year for these 17 years. Find the value of y. Okay, so 6.02 You can just cancel these two out because it's on both sides. Multiply y to the power of 17 equals to 7.53. y to the power of 17 equals to 7.53 over 6.02. y equals to 7.53 over 6.02 to the power of 117, which is equal to 1 plus y for 100. So 7.53 over 6.02 to the power of 117 minus 1 times 100 is 1.33. Okay, let's check. 6.02 multiplied 1 plus answer over 100 to the power of Yes. Question 2A1. Triangle A after rotation 90 degree anticlockwise about 0, 0. Triangle A anticlockwise mainly I'll go this direction. So one plot here, one plot there, the other one here.
and this is a one. Next, triangle A after translation by the vector three negative five. So three to the right, one, two, three, and negative five. So one, two, three, four, five, which is over here. Then just draw the same triangle. This is this is A two. A two. Okay. Okay, for question B. Describe fully the single transformation that maps triangle A onto triangle B. So it's definitely an enlargement. So the center should be okay. one four and enlargement with scale factor of okay so three. Center one four. Question three A one. Find the lowest speed recorded, which is this over here. Which is very well for two forty three. Find the median, which is the center, this one in the box, which is sixty five, and the interquartile range seventy one. Minus fifty eight. Thirty. Okay, for question B, another car takes eighteen seconds to travel four hundred meters along this road. Calculate the average speed of the car, of this car in kilometers per hour. So it's four hundred over eighteen meters per second. So we multiply a thousand and divide mm, wait, this is it's divide a thousand on the top and then the bottom is multiply No, also divide three six oh oh cancel cancel which is no I don't think cancel so zero point four over Which is eighty. Question four. Find the probability that he picks the letter Y first. Which is two of these letters at random without replacement. So the probability. So it needs to be one out of P O. So this is the eleventh letter. This is ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Also one over eleven. Multiply. Multiply ten out of ten, which is one. So it's just one out of eleven. The letter B, then the letter Y. So there's only one B. So one out of eleven. Don't let this number confuse you. That's just my counting. I will erase that. 
There are a total of 11, 11 carbs here. B then the letter Y, multiply 1 out of 10, which is 1 out of 110. Two letters are the same. So we have S to S. So 1 out of 11, multiply, wait, no. 2 out of 11 times 1 out of 10 plus plus and then there are 3 i's so 3 out of 11 times 2 over 10 plus is there any other doesn't look like there's any other that there is with the same so, this will equal to 2 out of 11 times 1 out of 10 plus 10. This is 4 out of 55. Okay, for question B, Morgan now picks a third letter at random. Find the probability that all three letters are the same. So we need to find a letter that has three of it. P only has one, A only has one, S only has two, I has three. So it's three eleventh multiply two tenths, multiply one nine. And then is there any others with three? There's no others with three. So that would be three eleventh multiply. 210 multiply 190, which is 1 over 165. Okay, for question B2, exactly two of the three letters are the same. So the first letter is the two of it is S. Two, three, Multiply one tenth. Multiply one. And because it can be in any order, we just multiply three. Plus three multiply I has three eleven. Three eleven. Two tenths and eight nine. Which is One out of five. Okay, for question B3, all three letters are different. So it's basically one minus one over one six five plus one fifth, which is one minus one over one six five and one over five. That would give one three one three one over one six five. Okay, so for question five A one, angle X, find angle X. Okay. Okay, so so find angle X, it is Oh wait. Mm. Angle X is 162 divided 2, which is 81. This is because um, the angle at center is double 
the angle at circumference and you can write bracket Star Trek because this is basically the Star Trek here. Angle Y is also 81 since we found out what X is because of all the other segments. Angle Z is, okay, so angle Z will need to do a little bit of calculation, but basically ADO is angle ADO is 90 degrees because it's a tangent. A tangent. So then we can find this angle, which is 90 minus 42, 48. So we got that angle as 48. And then what this angle, angle ODC, wait, triangle, wait, so basically, ODC, ODC is is a I saw solis because it has two radius so then this and this so then <clears throat> 180 minus 160 divide 2 so this is 9. 48 plus 9 is 57. 118 minus 57 is 1, 2, 3. So Zach is 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, 3 because of cyclic, because of cyclic quadrilateral. Okay, for question B1, explain why triangle PQR is similar to triangle PUT. Give a reason for each statement you make. Question B to A. Find the ratio of PU to PQ. E to A. Find the ratio. Find the ratio PU to PQ. So PT to PR is no PT to TR is four to three. So it's basically PT to PR is four to seven, which so PU to PQ is also for just the reasons they're both similar triangles. 2B, uh, B to B. The area of triangle PUT is 20 centimeters squared. Find the area of quadrilateral QRTU. <coughs> okay, so it's basically PRQ minus PTU. Basically, PUT. P RQ is equal to <laughs> C 
seven four squared multiply twenty, which is sixty one point two five. Fifty one point two five minus twenty, which is forty one point two five. Question six A. Work out the volume of the cuboid, which is five times eight times eleven, four hundred and forty. Ivana has a pencil of length thirteen centimeter. Does this pencil fit completely inside the cuboid? Show how you decide. Okay, so the so we'll need to find. We just need to answer whether it's a yes or no. We don't need to find um how it fits. So the best. The biggest possible um, length that can fit in this um, cuboid is from G to A, or H to B, or F to D and E to C, either one. So we'll do G to A. So maybe we can draw this triangle G A C. G A C. G A C G C A is a ninety degree. AC is five is third, five squared plus eight squared, which is third eighty nine, third eighty nine, and here is eleven. We we'll need to find G eight. We actually we'll put this triangle over here. CBA because this is a work we need to show working because they said show how you decide then C B 5 8 AC is 89 which how do I get 89 I already told you 8 squared plus 5 squared but we should write that down just to be safe okay <clears throat> so once we get we've gotten that G A equals to eighty nine. So eighty nine plus eleven squared, which is so eleven squared plus eighty nine is fourteen point four nine, which is bigger than thirteen. So yes, it can fit. Yes. Okay, for questions 6C, 1, calculate angle CAB. CAB. Here's 8 and here's 5. Here is angle CAB. BC, AC, here AB. Yep. Tangent theta equal to 5, 8. Theta equal to arc tangent 5, 8. Which is. Thirty two point zero C two cover angle G A C G 
is E. So GC is 11, AC is 8th group. Set 89, tangent theta equals to 11 or set 89, theta equals to arctangent 11 over set 89, which is Forty nine point four. Question seven A one factorize twenty four plus five x minus x squared. So, firstly, instead of just putting double brackets straight away, we can write eight times three plus eight x. Oh, wait, three plus x, which will give us twenty four plus eight x. Then we'll need to minus x times x times 3, so minus 3x, okay, <clears throat> plus x again to get x squared. Then from here, on, and then you can try and prove that, 24 plus 8x minus 3x plus x squared bracket so this becomes minus is equivalent to 24 plus 5x minus x squared so then you can just do that just to be safe then this will equal to 8 minus x times 3 plus x and then we've just gotten our double bracket. So 8 minus x and 3 plus x. <clears throat> Work out the values of a, b, and c. So a is over here. A, <clears throat> so we can take x, okay, so it's negative x plus a times x plus 3 so x can so x has two values x can be either x is wait mm, oh yeah x is either negative 3 or x is 8 so then a is a a's x is a negative value so a must be negative 3 and b must be 8 then c we can <clears throat> y is replace all the x values with 0 so 24 plus 5 times 0 which is 0 minus 0 squared which is 0 which is y is 24. Question 7a3. Calculate the gradient of y equals to 24 plus 5x minus x squared. At x equals to negative 1.5. y is 24 plus 5 times negative 1.5 minus negative 1.5 squared, which is fourteen point two five. So why is fourteen point two five? Then we need to dy dx is 0 which equals to negative 2x plus 5 no it's not my dy dx is 0 
Then let's find dy dx and then replace x values with negative one point three. Oh, so dy dx negative two x plus five. So then negative two times negative one point five plus five, which is negative two times negative one point five plus five which is A. So the answer is A, that's the gradient. Okay, for question B1 on the diagram, sketch, sketch the graph of y equal to state x plus one times x minus three squared. So, label the values where the graph meets the x-axis and the y-axis. So, when x is, x is zero, y is one times negative 3 squared, which is 1 times 9. Yeah. So, x is 0, y is 9. Then when y is 0, x is either negative 1, Or x is three. Yeah. B two. Write x plus one times x minus three squared in the form a x cubed plus b x squared plus c x plus d. Thank you. Okay, for question B2, write x plus 1 times x minus 3 squared in the form ax cubed plus bx squared plus cx plus d. So first, it's basically x plus 1 times x squared minus 6x plus 9, which is x cubed minus 6x squared plus 9x plus x squared minus 6x plus 9, which is x cubed minus 5x squared plus 9 minus 6, 3x plus 9, x cubed minus 5x plus 3x plus 9, or 5x squared. Okay. Question 8a, find ac. So 6 minus 2 is 4, and negative 1 plus 5 is also 4. Find bd. So negative 2 minus 2, inverse this one to get cd, is negative 4. 5 plus 3 is 8. Find BC or oh, modulus BC. That would be cert mm, 2 squared plus 5 squared, which will become cert 2 squared plus 5 squared. 5.39. Question B. In the diagram, OAB and OED are straight lines. O is the origin, A is the midpoint of OB, and E is the midpoint of AC. AC is A and CB is B. B1, find AB. So it's basically A minus B, since it's ACB. Okay, for question 8B, in the diagram, OAB and OED are straight lines. O is the origin, A is the midpoint of OB, and E is the midpoint of AC. AC is A, and CB is B. B1, uh, B find AB. So that's basically A plus A plus B. Yep. And then B2, find OE. So OA is equal to AB. And then this is equal to this. So A B. So it's A plus B. 
और ए एक प्लस बी प्लस हाफ ए विच इज थ्री हाफ ए प्लस बी क्वेश्चन बी थ्री फाइंड द पोजिशन बेटर ऑफ दी विच इज ओ डी इट्स बेसिकली मल्टीप्लायर ऑफ ओ ई विच इज थ्री हाफ ए प्लस बी सो ओ डी इज ऑल्सो इक्वल टू ओ ए विच इज ए प्लस बी प्लस a plus mb we don't know what it is which is 2a plus m plus 1 b then we need to find k so k Three half a plus b equals to two a plus m plus one b. So we will take out the b for now. We cancel the b. K multiply three half a equals to two a. K equals to two a multiply two third, which is four third. So. That would be equal to four third multiply three half a plus b, which is two a plus four third b. Question nine a. Find the integer values that satisfy the inequality. So x is bigger than one, smaller or equal to five. So x can be two, three, four, or five. Question nine b. Factorize completely. B one. Six y square minus fifteen x y. So the only thing we can factorize is three y. Two y minus Five x three y times two y minus five x b two factorize y square minus nine x square. So they're both square numbers. So we can put at y plus three x times y minus three x. Oh, simplify. So we need to simplify. So three times two x plus one minus two times x minus one divided by x minus one times two x plus one. Which equals to six x plus three minus two x plus two because there's a bracket divided by two x squared minus two x plus x so it's minus x minus one which equals to four x plus five divided by Wait a second. It's two square minus x minus one over. Wait, let's remain it in this bracket form. X minus one times two x plus one. Just to see if we can cancel out anything, which equals to two two x. Oh no, we can't do that. Okay, so then the most final form will be. Four x plus five over two x squared minus x minus one. That's the final.
Okay. Okay, for question 9D, the straight line y equals to 3x plus 2 intersects the curve y equals to 2x squared plus 7x minus 11 at two points. Find the coordinates of these two points and give your answer correct to the nearest correct two decimal places. Okay, so that's two points. When 2x squared plus 7x minus 11 equals to 3x plus 2. 2x squared plus 4x minus 13 equals to 0. Then we factor in x. No, but we can't factor. We don't factorize this because it said correct the two decimals. So we use the quadratic formula instead. So which the quadratic formula of negative uh, x equals to negative b plus minus so b squared minus 4ac over 2a. Which is equal for the positive side would be equal to negative 4 plus 16 minus 4 to negative 13 over 2a which is 4 which is equal to negative 4 plus 16 minus 4 to negative 13 over 4, which is 1.74 rounded to near two decimals. For the negative side, it is negative 4 minus 16 minus 4 to negative 13 over 4, which is negative 4 minus 16 minus Negative 4 minus uh, 16 minus 4 to negative 13 over 4. Negative 3.74. Question 10A5. No, well, yeah, I never found the line. Oh. So first we find the y value for the positive sign. So we'll take this equation since it's easier. 3 answer plus 2. 7.22. Yep. And then for the other one. Yeah. Okay, then we place it. 3 answers plus 2. Negative 9.22. Question 10a. Find FH2, which is F3 squared, which is F9, which equals to 4 minus 3 times 9, which is 27. 27, which equals to negative 23. Question 10b, find f inverse of x. So, f inverse x is y, f y is x. So, f y is 4 minus 3 y, which is x. You make x the subject of this. X is already subject. Oh wait, oh yeah. Y the subject. Now we make y the subject. So we put 3y equals to 4 minus x. y equals to 4 minus x over 3. Question C1, simplify. So f times f, okay, never mind. So it become 4 minus 3 times 1 minus 2x, which equals to 
4 minus 3 plus 6x, which is 6x plus 1. Question C2. So it'll be G, F, which is 4 minus 3x minus 9 x squared plus x. Yeah. Which equals to 4 minus 3x squared plus 4 minus 3x minus 9x squared plus 9 minus 9x. Which equals to 9x squared minus 24x plus 16 plus 4 minus 3x minus 9x squared minus 9x which equals to 36x plus plus 20. Okay, question D, 90, not 10D. One, one over HF is equal to 9KX. Find the value of K. So, HX, 3 to the power of negative X equals to 9 to the power of KX which is 3 to the power of 2kx. 2kx equals to negative x. 2k equals to negative x squared. Negative 1, k equals to negative 1 more. Okay. 11a. Okay, complete the table. So, the nth term is 5n, because there's a gap of 5 plus mm, minus one minus one so this one 19 plus 5 is 24 and for b for b if we take n cube then that would be one cube then wait we'll do for the two for the second term so n cube is two plus eight it, yeah eight then Let's try n cube plus 2. Yes, it's n cube plus 2. Oh. Then we can just test it out. So 3 cube plus 2 is 29. Okay, so then in the fifth term, 5 cube plus 2 is 127. Then for this one, it's increasing. It's multiplying by 4. It's multiplying by 4. So we know it's 4 to the power of something. Then the first term is 1, the second term is 4, so it must, to get 1, it needs to be 4 to the power of n minus 1. So the first term, for 4 to the power of 0 is 0, 4 to the power of 1 is 4, 4 squared, 4 cubed, and then, so 4 to the power of, 4 to the power of 5, wait, 4, four to the power of 4 is 2, 5, 6.